it's a firework display, it's another firework display, I love fireworks, and this time we are here at uh, Marika's firework display, Marika's been doing tons and tons and tons of firework displays, apparently, I don't know, hundreds, maybe even thousands of fireworks have been made, uh, and loads of uh, different uh, events, we've come to see one of them, I think you'll agree, they are amazing, it's almost a shame you have to listen to me rabbit on while we watch them, so let's take a moment to enjoy the colours. Hello everybody, it's me Major Graft and we are back here on the Shadow Kingdom Townie server uh, for another Townie episode. Uh, finally, after the long wait, uh, sorry for that uh, gap. Uh, over Christmas, but uh, no internet means no videos. But don't worry, we are back now and we have got major plans. Uh, before we get started though, a couple of things I wanted to say. First of all, thank you to all of the people that uh, have subscribed to me over the last couple of weeks. We hit my 500 target, in fact, we got to 412 uh, before New Year, which I was uh, really, really chuffed with. We are in touching distance of 500. Uh, I am really uh, feeling like we should uh, go on a mission now. I want to see if we can get the channel monetized by the summer. That means we need 600 subscribers before the summer. Big ask, I know, but I think we can do it with you guys supporting me. Anything's possible. But that's enough for me jibber-jabbering. I want to show you a few of the things that I have been doing, because I have managed to play a little bit, um, uh, and what we're going to be doing for the rest of the episode. So, here we are. Uh, we are actually at, uh, as you can see, uh, Sergeant Tiger's uh, embassy, and we have been working on this corner plot here. Uh, and we have a base in for a building, as you can see, uh, roughly built out. And the floor plan put in uh, and in case you can't tell it's going to be a sort of a, a Roman bath style uh, build uh, we're gonna have a colonnade here on the outside these are gonna be uh, pillars uh, this is gonna be a solid wall uh, so you can walk around the outside and then you can come in here and there'll be uh, some pillars on the inside as well and this will be a covered uh, walkway inside and then the pool itself which we have already made I hope you like it uh, I think that's a, a fairly nice job if I do say so myself uh, but today we are going to get uh, uh, started on this maybe even finish it that would be amazing uh, and uh, we've got much more going on besides so stay tuned guys and enjoy the episode and first of all we have something really important to do and that is opening up our Coffee shop! Yes, Landro's here and he has invited me to open this officially. The Monolith coffee shop is complete and finished and doesn't it look wonderful? I'm really chuffed with this. I think it's a brilliant addition to our little town. So we're going to have a little sit down. We might as well christen it while we're here. Let me see if I can just uh, plonk myself down with our handy G-sit command. Lovely. There we go. Way look at me sitting in my coffee shop. It looks perfect. Yes, come and have a coffee with me, Landro. That's a great idea. Come sit down. Uh, you guys who've been working on this have done a fantastic job. Uh, it looks amazing. And maybe we should be asking you to do some more interesting things in the future. But we'll leave that for another episode. Thanks very much, Landro. Well done. And whilst we've been working on the new build up top, we have also been doing a little bit of work down here. Oh, not, no, not up here. Down here. Step off and fly. There we go. Uh, on the beastie, beastie, beast. Uh, so I thought, as we are a nether worker, which is where some of our money comes from, we might as well uh, make some money as well as build. So now we'll be making money ni mining the nether, ne the uh, nether rack, and then making some money uh, by building with it. So uh, we have one of the tentacles starting to take shape now as you can see we're going to be uh, fleshing those out if you like the pun there uh, over the next wee while i've got uh, some smelting happening and hopefully uh, maybe we, we can have one full arm completed i was thinking about trying to grade it a little bit and maybe putting some of the uh, red on top and maybe something darker like uh, an a coal block at the bottom I don't know I'm not sure about that yet just to give it some uh, texture obviously this is all going to be intermingled and 
uh, not uh, strict and even. But we'll give it a go, see what it looks like. We can always change it if we don't like it. But that's a good start. I've also been wandering around the base and have found a few little interesting surprises. It seems our friend Borrow has been at it again. And yes, apparently we have Borrow advertising golems. Uh, so yay for that. Uh, don't even ask about the cocoa, by the way. I started on the Christmas challenges and shamefully never finished. Uh, so well done to all of those who did the grind. I've also found something else a little bit daft. I know this is not any news to anyone who's ever played Minecraft, but as you know, villagers are absolutely ridiculous. And look. Oh yes, they've all fallen in a hole. I don't even know how many are there. Shall we see if we can figure it out? Let's give them a bit of space and spread out. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's ridiculous. There's like, what, eight, nine in there? I mean, uh. Do they deliberately make the AI on these things really, really, really stupid? Or is it just... I don't know. I give up. Ugh. I know it's the 4th of January and we still got the Christmas decorations up, but as they were only in for one episode, I thought we'd leave them up just for this next episode and we'll have to take them down, I think, by the next episode. But that's not what I wanted to show you. I have been working on our little baths. And let's walk this way, shall we? The scenic route. And I think we've got some progress. I'm reasonably happy with it so far. Here it is. Uh, as I say, not the ma most massive build uh, I've ever made, but it's, it's cute. It's nice. I like it. So we've got... Uh, simple uh, granite and uh, textured with a little bit of uh, the uh, stone bricks here and then inside we've got the pool. I'm going to take off my helmet with the glowing so we can get a bit more natural light. As you can see uh, we've got the pillars in uh, and the outside walkway and the stairs down. So I think that's fairly finished. We've put some lights on it. I don't know. You know me, I'm never good at details. I probably do need to put some shrubbery and greenery and interest around here somewhere to make it look a little bit more uh, lived in. But that's the main structure done. What do you think, guys? Have I done an okay job at a Roman style baths? So here we are. It's our first towny tour of the year. Yes. And this time we are at Velaris's outpost. Apparently this is where most of the residential plots are. We're here at the far end of town at the uh, large uh, farms, as you can see that uh, all of us celestial members have access to. So I've been here a few times. But I've never really looked around. So I've been asked by the guys in Valaris if I would like to have a wander around and show you guys all of their good stuff. So before we do, let's have a little look at the town details. Uh, check who we're uh, patting on the back as we go. So who we got? Mm. Yeah, here we go. Lord Shawnee Joy, uh, Mizzy Miss, uh, Brandon436, Acorn MV, Torontonium, uh, Backpack, Rich Squared, uh, Bronticore, and loads, loads more. Uh, great, great town. Uh, so let's have a look and see what they have done. Uh, this uh, is well laid out and very spacious, so we're going to have some walking to do. Thankfully, because I've just got my uh, new Cosmos rank, I can change my speed of walking. So watch this. This is amazing. I am Superman. No, I'm the Flash. Anyway, you didn't come just to see roads, so let's have a look at some of the builds. Um, it's a blancmange, um, a, a cake, it's something. It's, well, it's a start. Uh, you will see that there are lots of different builds in lots of different styles at lots of different stages of development. Some are uh, finished, some are started, and some who knows where they are. Uh, but we're going to have a look at the good, the bad, and the ugly, uh, and pre maybe not... not um, say which ones are the ugly ones. We'll let you judge that. Uh, another work in progress here. Uh, modern house. Ooh, modern house. Ooh. Now, I quite like that. That's really nice, that is. Um, I approve. Uh, let's have a quick look. And have they got any interiors yet? Um, no. Uh, but good exterior. Ooh, and a basement. Ooh, basement with storage. See, real player bases, not just for decoration. They actually get used. Wow, it's really hard doing indoors with speed 10. That's crazy. But I like it. Uh, very nice. Uh, and what have we got here? Ooh, a different style altogether. A different neighbor. Does it tell us who it is? Uh, it is Rookie Blue 22. 
Watch out for the puffer fish he bites. Very cute. Uh, like this, slightly different style. Um, uh, not really um, a style that's reminiscent of much that I can think of in the real world. It's it's very Minecrafty, but Minecrafty in a good way. I like that. That's that's got a, a style of its own with the little whoops the water feature we just fell in. I might have to reduce the speed on this miner because this is getting crazy. Uh, and some interiors. We always like an interior. That's lovely. Very nice. Uh, right. Where next? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. And a Christmas tree. God would admire the Christmas tree. Very nice. Like the Christmas tree. And this. I really like this. This is very cool. Uh, I don't know if this is uh, Kyudo. Uh, Kyudo. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, it's very nice. I'm not sure whether it's been done by them or copied from a design. Uh, but either way, it's a very, very nice house. I like these uh, overhanging roofs uh, at the different uh, levels and heights. The chimney coming up the right height. Lots of good details there that make that uh, a nice build, I think. And another one going up here too with another funky looking roof. Um, so where have we come from? We've come from over there. I think this is the furthest reaches of the town over here. We're going to have a look at this. I like this. This is very nice. I would like to see a whole like medieval city uh, with this style of build. It's very nice. I like that it's got a good mix of different um, uh, blocks to it. You've got the cobble and stone, you've got the uh, red brick, and you've got the sandstone. They really complement each other. That's really nice. And a little bit of an inside Christmas tree. Love it. Very, very good. Um, whoa, I can't get out of the door. There we go. Whew. Man, I'm speaking as fast as I'm walking. I'm not sure that's going to do any good for the town at all, but we'll give it a go. Um, <laughs> and that's a nice little detail. I like that on the top. Now, what have we got over here? A bit of a castle happening here. Uh, started scaffolding still up uh, we'll not dwell on that if it's a work in progress we've got a hobbit hole of some sort here with a lovely custom tree oh it says oh, welcome to our our guys oh dearie me i'm gonna get in trouble for that aren't i our guys tree shack i like it very cozy uh very nice and another modern build going up there uh, I'm not so sure about the uh, polished diorite there. It, it feels a bit too gritty for me. Uh, obviously, personal taste, but it looks nice. It's uh, well proportioned. Very nice. Uh, where are we going to go next? Let's head back this way. And please ignore the giant, horrific cobble wall in the distance. Uh, apparently, this is a town uh, that was somewhere over the other side of that, and they didn't want uh, uh, people to disrupt. Uh, their town uh, so they built the giant cobble wall and spoiled the view it seems a bit self-defeating but hey whatever we'll uh <laughs> our lovely little uh tree uh, tree swing there very uh, cozy home this is possibly the tiniest home i've ever seen it's so tiny it doesn't have a door does it yes it does brooke was here well hi brooke and we've got other things going on i wonder if this is the same yeah brooklyn obviously the same uh, build it has stretched out a little homestead here very very cozy uh, and we've got another custom tree going up here oh and what's this um it's it looks like some kind of roller coaster that looks like a roller coaster doesn't it i can't see that there's any purpose to that other than having fun but it's massive look at the size of it is this to drastic t t oh dearie me t oh i'm not gonna even carry on trying but it, it's got some other stuff in here as well let's have a look there's a nice little tory gate there a uh, bit more of a japanese style homestead uh, very nice oh that's a, a, a cute uh, a design i really like that 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 really works with the theme and a little uh, <laughs> a little jacuzzi out the back very nice hot springs yeah good stuff right what else have we got uh, some nice bridges. Uh, one thing I like about this is it's nice and spread out. And everything's linked up with these nice paths which we're uh, avoiding. So I should point them out. They are they are uh, well done. And here we have another house. What's this? Hmm. Uh, interesting. Uh, it seems a bit more industrial, doesn't it? Like factory. I'm loving the barbed wire effect there. Very clever. Like that. Yeah, that works. Very good. And... Another wooden building here, a bit more squat and stout, if you like. Uh, ooh, ooh, we saw a name there. What was it? Evil versus good. 
Evil versus good, very nice house. Uh, ooh, uh, something floating up there, but not finished, so we'll not dwell on that. Let's have a look at some bigger, posher builds over here. We're moving slowly towards what I think are the uh, the slightly larger uh, projects. And this, this is definitely one of them, isn't it? Look at this. It's enormous. Who's this? Assistant Bronticor. Okay. <laughs> mistletoe. Oh, Bronticor and Rubio. Under the mistletoe. Wow. Well, say no more. We'll uh, have a look inside if we can manage it with our ridiculous speed. That's a lot. Whoa. Whoa, we. Someone's got a thing about cake. Could this be the cake bandit that came to the monolith in earlier episodes? Maybe it is. Maybe we need a word with Bronticor. He seems to be a cake addict. Look at this. Cake everywhere. It's a shrine to cake. Uh, uh, impressive. That must have taken a lot of baking. I like it. Uh, in a weird, weird way. Whee! Oh, can we, can we drop down there? Can we drop down there? Is it? Ah! Uh, 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 no, we can't. Because, because I'm moving too fast. Oh, whatever. Right, we're flying out. We're stuck in here forever. We are doomed to eat cake and die alone in the castle of Bronticor. Now, which way were we? I got all f confused there. Right, okay, here. Uh, yes. Now, whoa, seriously. Is this the... Yes, this is more cake builds. I... Yeah, um, yeah whatever. I think I'm going to move past the cake now. Uh, we can't get in. But it looks nice. And it's got the official Valaris flag on the front. So it must be someone important. Is it MCTV1? Whoever you are. Uh, nice house. Right. Uh, ooh, another dainty little one over there that we missed. Who's this? Who's this? Jinxed love. Very cute. Very nice. Uh, and then we go. We're going to finish over there. I know we keep uh, glimpsing it in the distance. But I'm going to finish over at the big church. Because I think that's worth... Uh, Saving the best for last. But we were here, weren't we? Yes. Uh, lots of great houses here. Uh, some unowned plots. Rhiannon, lovely. Uh, oh, that's nice. I like the texturing on that with all the different blocks. That that looks really nice. Uh, something akin to what I was trying on my uh, Roman baths. Uh, there on the roof. Very nice. Like that. Yeah. And here we go. We've got a cherry blossom or two. And what looks like another Japanese-themed build. Let's go in the front. Ooh, I like that. That's a really nice, uh, different style of a wall. So hard to be unique or different. And I think that does it nicely with the kind of roundish entrances and the curved top to it. It's really nice. With the Torrey Gates and the lovely bridge here. And the yin yang symbol. Is there an actual house here or is this just like a little garden? Looks like a little garden, doesn't it? A little little boat on the river. Very, very nice. Like that. And then we've got a tower. A pink tower. Assistant backpack. Ooh, now that looks better from the front, doesn't it? Very nice. Um not sure about what colour is that? What colour is that? Hmm. Not sure about that, uh, to be honest. But uh, yeah, uh, it's it's a nice house. It's an, an interesting look. What's the sign say? What's the sign say? Come on. Congrats. No, uh, no reward though. No. Oh. Okay, no reward for us. Fine. Can you get to the top of the house? Well, yes, of course I can. I can jump four blocks. I can get anywhere. I can fly. But anyway. Ooh, more cute houses here. Look at this. Mr. Wah. Mr. Wah, I like your house. Do not destroy it for me knowing this path is done. <laughs> okay. Interesting way of communicating. Hmm. Yeah, nice. I like the, the, the flowers adding the little bursts of colour on what is otherwise quite a monochromatic build with all the different uh, shades of beige and brown there. Uh, it works because the the greenery and the, uh, the flowers add pops of colour. I'd like to see more pops of colour on the other sides as well. That feels a bit uh, flat along this side. Um, minor criticism. On the whole, though, I like it. Really nice. We got another modern build over here with some giant pictures in. Who's this? Petals and poses. Uh, uh, very nice. Um, sort of wooden and yet modern at the same time, uh, which is a bit different. Oh, we can get in. Yay. We always like it when people don't bother with doors. And very nicely done inside. What a wonderful kitchen. 
A lot of detailing there with all the handles. Uh, yeah, lovely. Uh, lovely dining table. And we're here just in time for dinner. Yummy! <laughs> okay. We are close to finishing and here we start to get some of the fantastic ones. I know uh, this is... Uh, ooh, let's have a look. Ra Assistant Rach Squared's uh, spot here. Uh, and also Rach Squared's amazing Pegasus. Which, when I arrived here, had grey wings. But she has been putting some multicolours on it and how amazing does that look? I hope our organic uh, looks even half as good as that because that's a fantastic build don't you think? A uh, real uh, nice change from all the domestic houses. Whose house is this? Burnso uh, showing off the bling there um, doing a bit of farming on the other side too. Whoa my goodness me that's uh, quite a bit of diamond you got there. Uh, showing off a bit if you don't mind me saying so. <laughs> uh, and who's this? Who's this? Do we have a name on this house? We have an... Oh, oh, I think this may be some kind of spawn area. I think this is where they showed me uh, yesterday uh, where to come. Uh, because there's a map. There's a map. And a nice bridge to look at the map on. That's a big map, isn't it? We should have a big map like that. I feel like we should, we should do that. Needs a bit more lighting in here, though. Let's use the glowing hat to cheat. Ha-ha! <laughs> look at that for a map. Amazing. Right. And I think we have... One last thing to look at, which we can see here uh, as we meander through the gardens and out through this lovely thing here uh, to the cathedral uh, or church. And I really like this. I like the texturing here of the andesite, the stone and the uh, stone uh, bricks. Uh, works really well. Feels really well proportioned. I like the roof style. Um, Hard to figure out how to do roofs well on big buildings like this, but that's that's really uh, simply and elegantly done. And it's nicely decorated inside too. Look at this. Uh, nice flooring, some fancy uh, lighting and hanging greenery. And we have a, a pulpit. I'm uh, now going to preach from the Book of Graft, chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. No, uh, <laughs> anyway... Uh, wow, this is an even fancier one. Maybe I should have been up here. This is where the important people speak. Hear me, hear me. But there's no chairs. People, I feel like you need some chairs. Uh, it's really, really nice. I like the windows as well. Nicely done. Uh, very fancy. Uh, oh, is this like a secret space that we can't get to? Oh, man. How do you get to that? Hmm. Now, if I couldn't fly, how could someone have gone into that? I wonder if there's some stairs we're missing. Ooh, what a tease. Ha, <laughs> I bet I'm missing something really obvious. Anyway, it looks great. It's fantastic. Uh, I'm not sure who's built it, but whoever did it, well done. Really good job. And that's it, guys. A whistle stop tour of Valaris's uh, residential areas, as you can see, spreading out uh, across... Uh, the landscape here. Wonderful, wonderful uh, place to live and lots of great builds. Well done, guys. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Keep up the good work and we will see you again soon. Well, folks, that's about all we've got time for for today. Uh, we're here admiring the view on the top of the cathedral here as we say goodbye. But if you've enjoyed the video, hit like, and I would love it if you'd subscribe and help me get to that magical 1,000 mark. Uh, we're nearly halfway, and you guys have been brilliant. So, as always, have a great week or two until I see you next. Enjoy the building, and we'll see you in the next one.